national unity was his campaign mantra that paved the way for the much-awaited return to Malacanang. From here on, it's reviving and growing the economy that'll take front and center in his working agenda as clearly spelled out in a State of the Nation address. Armela Las Moras on poverty incidence reduction, reigning in inflation, keeping the pandemic spread at a minimum, and also bringing down the cost of survival, which government's technocrats echoed in today's post-SONA briefing. I know this in my mind. I know it in my heart. I know it in my very soul. The state of the nation is sound. If you were to be asked, what can you say about President Ferdinand Marcos Jr.'s first state of the nation address? Maganda naman po yung speech niya. Ngayon, yung sinabi niya po na no lockdown, uh, sana rin po matupad niya. At maging okay na po yung sitwasyon natin ngayon. Nagagalak po ako, mawawala na po ang mga alam po sa ating pandemic at makakatulong po siya sa atin. At the post-SONA economic briefing today, several cabinet members assured the public that the government is now taking various measures to fulfill the promises delivered by the chief executive during his SONA. On the health aspect, President Marcos shared his goals to provide Filipinos with cheaper medicines and create more health centers and specialty hospitals with competent medical professionals who will also be given sufficient benefits. Amid the COVID-19 pandemic, President Marcos Jr. also said the government will intensify the national vaccination program, especially the inoculation of booster shots, so that there will be no need to implement lockdown again and just retain the COVID-19 alert level system for now. According to Department of Health Officer in Charge Maria Rosario Vergere, she is confident that these goals can be achieved, especially that these are aligned with their department's vision. In support with the President's directives, we already have started actually having this kind of direction and improving our facility so that they can offer specialty care. Meanwhile, on the education sector, President Marcos Jr. also reiterated that it is high time to bring back full face-to-face -face classes in the country, to which Vice President and Education Secretary Sara Duterte said, I am happy to share with everyone that our enrollment for the first day was at 3.3 million already as compared to our first day of last year which was at 222,000 only. And then uh, we are set to start, start our Brigada Escuela. Uh, we intend to start this on August 1. Everyone is invited to join and participate in your respective Brigada Escuela in your respective locality. As for the social welfare, President Marcos also ordered the Department of Social Welfare and Development to make aid distribution faster and more efficient, especially in times of emergency and disasters. DSWD Secretary Erwin Tulfo said, even before the President's directive, this was already the direction of their agency. Well, we have a lot of programs uh, being implemented now by the Department, one of which is uh, digitization of our uh, assistance. So uh, we keep on innovating uh, at this very moment, at this point, uh, to create more uh, substantial programs that will help people immediately. In addition, as for the migrant workers, the chief executive has also given certain directives to the Department of Migrant Workers, which are well noted by its secretary, Susan Ople. To our OFWs, I think the president's message is so clear. Um, we could feel um, yesterday, we felt his sincerity, um, his highest esteem for our OFWs, and um, his compassion uh, that extends not just to the worker, but also to the family of the worker. And on the relations of the Philippines to other countries, the president maintained the Philippine independent foreign policy, which also sets the goal to be a friend to all and an enemy to none. According to a political analyst, generally the son of President Marcus Jr. was good and impressive, and this can be achieved as long as there will be a whole of nation approach. Sa tingin ko, hindi marato na magagawa niya. Very positive, no? Hindi siya labas ng mga isyo sa mga nakaraan kahit sa eleksyon. Instead, nagkaroon siya ng emphasis looking forward. Anong pwede niyang gawin? Melalas Moras for the Nation.